next two episodes of Better Without. We are filming here in downtown Chicago. Here I am with the lovely Anne in front of Char's Kids Corner where it's all about Millie and me and gluten-free kids. And okay, so speaking of kids, I do want to share that I am pregnant. Yay! Yay! <laughs> it's so exciting. Thank you, Anne. I am really excited. And I also am really excited because now I have an opportunity to ask you a bunch of questions about pregnancy and about women who are trying to get pregnant. So speaking of trying to get pregnant, I um, want to start before people get pregnant. Absolutely. Um, what about women who are struggling with infertility and maybe miscarriages? It's really taking care of yourself and taking care of, of your baby that you're going to build should really start before you're pregnant. You really want to make sure that you're getting enough rest, that you're active, you're getting enough folate because folate is directly linked to um, birth defects, that you're getting your calcium, you're really taking care of yourself and all that should happen before you're pregnant. Now it's important that all that's going on too because for those women who are not diagnosed with celiac disease, if they're doing all those right things and they're having trouble getting pregnant or there's multiple miscarriages, that could actually be a sign that there's undiagnosed celiac disease going on. So now once um, one of these ladies, lovely ladies, gets pregnant, or like me, is get pregnant, what is one of the first things we need to be aware of? Should I be talking to my doctor about special things? What do I need to be doing? A couple things you need to be aware of. Okay. One, being pregnant, whether you're celiac or not, there's special things you need to do to take care of yourself. Okay. So you need to make sure that you're eating for two now. But the second one you're eating for is a little tiny baby, so you don't need a lot. You only really need an extra 300 calories a day. That's not a lot. I mean, 300 calories. No, it is not. <laughs> 300 calories is a glass of skin milk, a piece of fruit, a cookie, not the box. So that even though you're eating for two, you really have to make sure that what you're focusing on are good is good nutrition. You want to make sure you get enough protein. Okay. Got to have calcium for your bones and the babies. Okay. You want to make sure you still get lots of um, folate and and iron. All the things that are going to build a beautiful baby. So that's the same whether you're celiac or not. We just have to be more careful being gluten-free that you're doing all that in a gluten-free diet. Okay. What about exercise, Anne? Should pregnant women who have celiac disease be exercising more or less the same? Great question, because if you're exercising before, with your doctor's approval, you okay. should continue that right on through. Okay. But obviously keep checking with him. As you get bigger, though, <laughs> your activity should change. Um, it's a little bit harder carrying a baby around. Um, if you're not a gym bunny yet and you haven't been exercising, you do need to have some activity, but again, you need to do it with your doctor's okay. okay. There's walking, um, swimming, these are all great activities that are good for you and the baby. So being pregnant and having celiac disease really doesn't make things very different. You just have to make sure that, just like with being gluten-free normally, take good care of yourself, be careful, make sure you read all you know the labels and ingredients, even your prenatal vitamins, make sure they're gluten-free. But the good news is you can do it and you can build a great, healthy baby. Awesome. Thanks, man. That was really good advice. Well, the advice is even going to get better. Our next episode, we're going to talk about being gluten-free with your new family. And we may even ask Millie a few questions.